now as we all know facebook is the literal ghetto so <laughs> when someone told me i was god i wasn't even shocked i was just like okay maybe you should make a video about it um so that's what i'm doing um before we get into this video please let me know in the comments if you are not religious or if you're religious if you're not let me know why if you are let me know what religion you subscribe to and what's the difference now that you've subscribed to that religion um please don't give me some regurgitated phrase that you were taught by writing it a hundred times in your notebook give me an insight on the experience your personal experience so give it to me in your own words now i'm not religious but i was always taught about god and i sometimes think you know maybe if i wasn't taught like taught about god i would probably not be religious um but yeah um i definitely do not believe that two asteroids or meteoroids or whatever crashed into each other and then water formed and then all the plant species and, and, and the animal species that we have on earth today just came to be i definitely do not believe in that one uh it's it's hard to believe now the concept of religion has taken different shapes which i believe the original intention was to you know bring people together to you know share and and and, and acknowledge that there is a creator um now it is mostly you It's not what I think it was originally intended to be, which which is like positive and, and, and you know bringing people together. It is more bringing people apart because you have so many different religions and you have you know so many different gods and everybody is doing something or people who you know don't believe in God altogether and it's just so much. So I think religion actually played a part in separating a lot of people. And because of that, I cannot, with all my might, subscribe to any religion because how do you even know which one, you know? How do you even know which one is the right one? You know, I don't, personally, I don't feel nothing. All right, it took me a little time because I forgot that I saved it and I was trying to search. And, whew, okay, so. I'm gonna read the original post and then I'm gonna put the comments up on the screen afterwards that people who replied to me and the post says the spirit of the black woman is God in the beginning the black woman was able to reproduce life by herself the black woman is the only woman that can give her children melanin which is condensed sunlight black people are the children of the sun and the sun gives us power and this is the reason why we worship the sun and the black woman thousands of years ago before we was were brainwashed by the bible to worship jesus due to slavery this is also the reason why evil scientists are trying to block out the sun and the reason for missing black women and little girls the bible and quran has taught us that women came from man but that's impossible because you can't get woman from a man but you can get a man from a woman facts <laughs> and a man has no womb to reproduce life the bible and quran has lied to us for thousands of years the bible has downgraded the importance of the black woman but without the black woman you have no man this is the reason why Africa is called the motherland because the black woman is the mother of all human life. And my comment is, okay, so after about half an hour searching for my, first of all, why is Facebook like that? Why can't I just, like search my comment or oh my god half an hour so after that i said this is crazy i get where you're coming from but i can't see where you're going love black women and respect us but we're not god you got some good points mixed with crazy 
and I'm gonna put the comments that I received under my um, original comment on the screen so you guys can see it what people said and eventually they kind of came around a little bit but they still a little bit crazy they were still a little bit crazy but um basically when i said i saw where they were coming from i get that it's like you know we're trying to empower black women and we're trying to empower and you can't empower people with crazy you get what i'm saying you have to you know actually have facts actually have evidence actually have you know a basis for what you're saying you can't just come out the blue and say okay you know you've been um mistreated for this amount of time and you're having this difficulty and this particular race is having this difficulty you know what you're god clearly we're not god because if we were god we wouldn't have been enslaved in the first place we wouldn't have this many difficulties we would have been literal gods we would not have these earthly bodies these earthly issues if we were god that's the first thing okay now on this post you got people saying i knew it you have people saying no comments you have people saying then she has snakes wrapped around her body get out of here with that foolishness this is garbage you need to keep your opinions to yourself and all kinds of stuff now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look up uh, some definitions and the first thing we're gonna search is the concept of God and according to Wikipedia in monotheistic thought God is conceived of as the supreme being creator deity and principal object of faith God is usually conceived as being omnipotent, all-powerful, omniscient, all-knowing, omnipresent, all-present, and omnibenevolent, all-good, as well as having an eternal and necessary existence. Okay? Now, theism is the next one, and according to pbs.org, it is the belief in the existence of a divine reality, usually referring to a monotheism, one God, as opposed to pantheism, all is God, polytheism, many gods, and atheism without God. Okay, now the next one we're gonna search is religion, and according to Wikipedia, religion is a social cultural system of designated behaviors and practices, morals, worldviews, text, sanctified places, prophecies, ethics, or organizations that relates to humanity to supernatural, that relates humanity to supernatural, transcendental, or spiritual elements. Okay? Now, that's really all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Um, but also, and let me just put this here. If you think you're going to just join a religion and it's all going to be great and you don't have to go through anything and you're going to get everything you want, and it's a life work. If you feel like say, you can't just jump in a god and jump back with a god, get freeness. Uh, all right. And I say it work. Um, religions, most religions are based on suffering. You gotta suffer, you gotta endure all of this stuff before you, you know, eventually die and get to this paradise, okay? So I would advise you guys, if you want to join a religion, if you want to be a part of a religion, keep in mind, you're, you're gonna suffer, okay? You're gonna have to work, just like everybody else. You're gonna have to have pain and suffering like everybody else. Also... Um, with the working part don't think okay I joined this religion um, God is gonna provide everything and I don't have to work and I don't have to do this and I don't have to do that get the job do the job sweat you know suffer you know and pray on your break time when you get a break time if you get a break time pray on your break time if not no break time pray when you get home thank you guys so much for watching remember to like subscribe 
turn on your notifications use my tag in the comments and i'll see you in my next video peace